Hi, welcome, I'm Hannah. So every couple weeks or every month, I've been designating a couple lip products to use as like a little lip wardrobe, just to make sure I'm kind of like getting enough use out of my collection and getting to know my things, seeing if I still like them, seeing if they're still good. So today I'm going to be updating you on my last lip wardrobe, the changes I've made since then, and then we're going to be revealing my next lip wardrobe. So in April, I actually included my like, one of my favorite lip products. This is Miha, I think it's said, from um, ColourPop. It's the Becky G collab. It's an ultra satin lip. They don't even make this formula anymore. It's so good, I'm so sad about that. And this color is just like, the perfect color for my life. I have a tendency to like, try to save the best for last, try to like use up the bad things before I get to the good things, but I'm afraid that I'm never going to get to the good thing. So this was really fun to use. I use this a bunch of times. I still really love this color and I'm probably going to be including it in like another wardrobe pretty soon because I want to make sure I'm getting enough use out of it before it goes bad. Next up is Kristen from Kylie Cosmetics. This one is one that I like a lot. It used to be like one of my favorites and I don't know if I'd still say it's like a favorite. I really do enjoy it though. I enjoyed the lip liner. The lip liner wasn't included this month, but it is like a really nice shade. I'm curious what's going on with Kylie Cosmetics, just as like a little side note. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I had made a cart of like a couple lip products a couple weeks ago that I wanted to buy, but I was like, you know, maybe I'll hold off until there's a sale. And then I checked like last week and their website just says like something big is coming. And I've been checking every couple days and still nothing. So I'm wondering if they're doing like a big rebrand or if they're like discontinuing a lot of products or what, but I wonder if like I won't be able to replace this, which was kind of like my thought that I probably soon would. So I don't know, maybe I'll just have to uh, use it while I can. It still smells good, so. I also have the Persona Gloss in Peach. I think this gloss is all right. I used it a couple times when I just wanted something like really sheer and easy that would come off quickly. It's definitely not like a favorite in my collection. Like I want, I want to like it more than I do. Like I like the packaging. I like that it's like a new cute little lip gloss from like a cute little brand. And this is the only thing I have from that brand, but nothing about it really excites me. It is staying in my collection for now, but if there is a, a point to come where I like really pare down my collection, I don't think this would make it through because it doesn't really add much value to my life. Next up is the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights collab Luxe Lipstick in the shade Scorpio Moon. This color always like surprises me because it's always different than what I'm expecting it to be. But I do like it. I wore it a couple times. Not much to report about it. Oh, and there's also the um, Kylie Candy K lip liner, but I don't know where that is at the moment. It's probably in one of my purses but I do really like the Kylie lip liner formula and I'm keeping that one. Now for the things I changed, I know in that video I had swatched Lumiere and realized right away that it was very similar to Scorpio Moon and I was kind of like, oh well, I'll go with it. But I think right after I finished filming, I was kind of like, I don't want to have two lipsticks that are like the same thing. So I swapped it out with Sure Thing from ColourPop. This is the cream lippy sticks formula. This is pretty old. I feel like it came out, I mean, maybe it's not that old. I think it came out in February of 2018. So I guess three years isn't the worst. I think of this as being like a really old thing in my collection, but I guess it's not the worst. It's like a really nice buttery formula. The lippy sticks are always good, but this like cream lippy sticks is particularly nice. It's so pretty. I'm wearing this one in my in the second half of the Sephora VIB sale haul video, I ended up filming the ha like the second half of it on a different day, and I'm wearing this lip, and I just think it looks so pretty. I thought of this for a while as something that I really like having in my collection, and this kind of like reminded me how much I enjoy it. Yeah, this is like the kind of thing that makes me want to get rid of more lip products so that I can enjoy something like this more. I really like it. I also pulled out the ColourPop I Heart This that was like the hot pinkish lipstick. I just don't like it that much. I just don't heart this. And I pulled it out because I want to do an updated swatching my pink lipstick video because there's been a couple like new additions. So that one's coming up very soon. So I haven't decluttered it yet because of that. I do want to swatch it in there, but I predict that I will be decluttering it in that video. We'll see. 
So when I decided to move that out, I moved in Happy Thoughts. This is a matte lippy sticks from ColourPop. And this is a shade that I really like. I think this is like from their holiday collection, maybe in 2018. Really pretty kind of like berry, really comfortable formula. Yeah, you can see here that like this cream lippy sticks formula is a lot more like reflective and shiny than this one is. But even this one, they call it matte and it's not like a drying, uncomfortable matte. It's very comfortable. I only have good things to say about the Lipsy Sticks formula from ColourPop. And then the last thing, I feel like I'm like so unprepared today. I apologize. But I had the birthday suit, I think it was called, the Tarte um, Matte Liquid Lipstick. And I just wasn't that thrilled with it. So I actually threw it in my bin of things to declutter, but I haven't filmed a declutter in a while. And I tried to find it, but there's a lot of stuff in there and I was kind of like, I don't think this is worth like dumping everything out to find it. So that one I will swatch in my upcoming declutter video. But when I decided to move that out, I moved in this House Labs lip gloss. It's the Lay Riot lip gloss in Ethereal. It's kind of like a shimmery pink, very gooey. I think I just got it in my pants. Very gooey. And this one I kind of have like mixed feelings about also because I don't love it. It swatches very pink. It's a little sticky. I did wear it layered a couple times. I think I layered it over Scorpio Moon. I think I layered it over the lip liner also. And it's pretty, it works, but I think it might be kind of similar to my Anastasia Saint Tropez. And I think I might like that one better. So I'm not sure. I don't think there's any scent. Yeah, it's the kind of thing that like, I just don't feel like decluttering it right now. I don't feel like I need to anxiously get it out of my collection, but I'm just not feeling super stoked on it at the end of this month. I'm gonna keep that in mind for the future. So I'm going to wipe off my hand and then we'll be right back with my new lippy products. So for this month, I actually have a bunch of liquid lipsticks. I feel like I'm getting kind of towards the end of my liquid lipstick collection, which is kind of exciting. This is, goes hand in hand with me saying how I like always save the best for last or whatever. I prefer more bullet lipsticks at this time and I have a lot that I haven't used in a while. So probably next time around, I'll start using more bullet lipsticks. So that's fun. But I'm also excited to use these. So we'll, we'll get into that. First is the one that I have on my lips right now. This is Nude Rose. This is the Elf Alyssa Ashley gloss. I got this a couple years ago. I've always enjoyed it. I think it's like a really pretty color. This kind of like brownie rose is like one of my favorite lip shades to wear. And it's just a really nice formula. This from Colored Rain, it's 24 seven. This I think I had mentioned, I had a friend whose friend is a makeup artist who would gave them a big bag of things that might have been from like some convention or just things she got from work and then let me pick out of them. So this I got from that, but I don't know if I've ever actually used this. It feels a little painty. It's possible that it's like a little bit older. Like I don't know how, how long ago she had um, gotten the products. So it looks pretty. It looks kind of like um, like a strawberry red. But judging by the smell, like it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell good. So I think it's possible this might be something that I like use on my lips once and then I'm like, nope, nope. So we'll find out at the next update how this works out. But yeah, we'll see. I've never tried a colored rain lipstick before. I also have this Kylie one. This is Charm. It's the velvet formula. I really like this to kind of like mix in and lighten other lipsticks. So I think this might be fun with the um, colored rain one. It's also since it's that velvet formula, it makes other, other things more comfortable. So that's nice. It's pretty. It's actually like not as light as I always think of it as. So made will be fun on its own also. And the last liquid lipstick that I have for this month is Point Zero from ColourPop with Kathleen Lights. This one doesn't smell great either, but I really like it. I hate when that happens. Why can't all just like my worst lipsticks go bad first? Who's in charge of that? This is such like a pretty unusual cool tone brown and I really like it. I'm sad to say that I think I might like use this once or you know, even if I get through the month, I might decide that it's at the end of its life. That's sad, I wish these ColourPop lipsticks lasted better, but they just don't. And that's why I'm like so scared of like my other ones that I really like, knowing that they're not going to, they're not gonna live forever. But I am excited for this like little, for this little assortment, it's gonna be fun. For a lip liner, I have ColourPop 
Minuteman. This was the one that was included with the Simon Says Luxe Lipstick for Holiday 2019. I really like that lipstick also. Oh, I need to sharpen this. This is a super pretty color. I think it'll look really nice with the Charm. Um, the Kylie Liquid Lipstick also to kind of like make it more brownie. And also, I think it'll look nice with Cream Fresh from ColourPop. This is the Velvet Blur lipstick. It's kind of like an orangey one, and since it's getting warm, I do kind of like having slightly more orangey lipsticks, even though I don't really have a true orange lipstick. I was just thinking about that, and I, I might get one, but that's another story. So that's Cream Fresh. It's a pretty nice formula. Ooh, I like even seeing that with the browns. I kind of want to like have a color like that in my eyes and this on my lips. Ooh, I might do that. And I think this is gonna pair like really nice with the lip liner. Ooh, I'm excited. It feels tropical. I also included Candy Floss, which I really like. This is a blotted lip from ColourPop. I'm pretty sure this formula was discontinued, but I really like it. I know they kept around the ultra blotted and I always found the ultra blotted to be like sheer and streaky and uncomfortable and these blotted were like exactly the type of like tinted lip balm that I like that they give you like a sheer wash of color but it's nothing fussy it comes off evenly. Candy Floss is kind of like a slightly orangey one that just goes really nicely with any kind of like light especially summery look. Oh I'm surprised it's so similar to Cream Fresh. Damn it why does this keep happening? I know they're different though and I know this one doesn't come up as pigmented on the lips. So I think I'm going to um, to stick with it because I know this one's much more true to pigment. And finally, we have Brink from ColourPop, a Lippy Sticks. And this one's not too different from the Colored Rain one, just like a little bit lighter. Yeah, I think this will be like a fun little assortment. I'm excited to um, to get to know these a little bit better. And that's everything for today. If you like this kind of like using what I have content, please give me a like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me and there's a lot more to come. And I'll have the update for this in a couple weeks, but I'll be wearing these all throughout the next month if you want to see these in action. And thank you for being here. Bye.